What's up guys? Um, I wanted to do this video because I've been asked this question countless times in real life and as we're kind of breaking into um, the workout segment as well, I'm going to bring you an arms video later this week because I got the footage on that. I just need to edit it and go through kind of everything and do some voiceovers for you. Uh, because a lot of you guys still expressed interest in, you know, working out and getting into working out and some tips and tricks and everything else. But um, this question is something that um, if you're a bodybuilder or if you work out a lot, you're going to get this question from time to time. And it's, do I take steroids? Uh, because I've had so many people ask me this question. And, um, you know, because especially if I post a pic and it's all natural or whatever, um, a lot of people, you know, will give me flack or say there's no way or this that the other thing so what I wanted to do was kinda just clarify um, what natural bodybuilding is and uh, just kinda my history of working out okay um, the biggest thing that I see is the first thing that we need to do is we need to define what natural bodybuilding is in order to do this right so natural bodybuilding um, there's a lot of people's different opinion on this okay and, and it, it's the same thing in any subject is you can have your own opinion on what this means I tend to go with the North American Natural Bodybuilding Federation's opinion why because they do shows all over the country for natural bodybuilders uh, they're nationally known as the pretty much the number one group for natural bodybuilders um, starting out especially in the amateur ranks uh, this is the group that really does a ton of shows really does a lot of support for natural bodybuilding and everything else and their guidelines state that pretty much the only rules that you need to make your natural are no roids no HGH and that, that's pretty much it right you just can't take steroids you can't take HGH so your testosterone has to be at normal levels um, in their level zone okay and you can't be taking things like you know testosterone debol any of that uh, steroid stuff you can't take any of that okay um, they do drug test you when I won my show I was drug tested for this stuff I had none of it okay um, the supplements that are not on their list which are supplements that a lot of people take um, is like supplements like creatine like nitric oxide arginine uh, glutamine okay anything like this stuff that's all found naturally um, is supplements that you can take that do not disqualify you from being a natural bodybuilder okay some Joe Schmo's opinion of what he thinks a natural body what he thinks all natural means to him uh, doesn't necessarily concern me because he doesn't do shows all across the country and doesn't make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing these shows and supporting the cause of natural bodybuilding all right um, that person's opinion means absolutely zero to me but I had a guy in the gym today who I went to uh, high school with right and I'm not gonna name names but you know he came up to me he's like oh man you gotta be taking steroids like you're huge <sighs> um, in order to address this properly I'm gonna give you a little bit of a history about uh, me okay when I was in eighth grade I was five foot nine same height I am right now I was five foot nine I weighed 187 pounds okay uh, I was a bigger kid if any of you know me in real life my family are not small people we're not little skin and bone twiggy looking people that's just not us we're bigger people right so there's that um, by the time I was a freshman in high school and a sophomore in high school I was weighing about 200 pounds 205 pounds is a little bit overweight but I was still like a strong kid you know what I mean like I worked out all the time but I was football working out you know what I mean so I was doing a lot of heavy movements and stuff like that um, by the time I was a senior in high school I weighed 205 still you know what I mean like when I graduated and I was done with football season I, I still weighed in at 205 pounds okay now my strength had increased a lot and I had gotten a lot stronger but my actual weight hadn't gone up my size really hadn't gone up a ton it was just my actual strength so I had a good base to start with um, on top of that uh, as I went up through high school like I really kept the same almost kind of body style you know what I mean because there's three bodies you have the ectomorph the endomorph and the mesomorph if you don't know what that is uh, go ahead and pause the video Google it if you don't know what the Nat North American Natural Bodybuilding Federation entails and what their rules are you can go ahead and pause this video and Google it just so that you're a little bit more educated on what's going on um, now going into college okay I did a bodybuilding show again and 
I ended up weighing in at the bodybuilding show at 190 pounds ripped out, right? At like 3 or 2% body fat, whatever it was, I don't know. But when I started cutting, I was like 230. So I had put on like 20 pounds in about two years in college, two, two and a half years in college. Um, which keep in mind, guys, when you're from the age of 18 to 24, like your body's going to change. Like you're going to get bigger. Um, you're, you're extremely uh, susceptible to growing if you're doing the right things. Not only this, but my, like I said, my off season, I was still around 225, 230. Well, today I'm at five foot nine still and I weigh 230 pounds, right? But people are like, oh, you have to be taking steroids. There's no way you're all natural, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's look at it. Okay, so from from my eighth grade in high school, th or eighth grade in middle school, all the way through high school, all the way through college, um, the weight that I typically sit at on like an off season, you know, off season weight is around what I weigh right now, which is 220 to 230 pounds, somewhere in there. Okay, I sit around 11 to 12 percent body fat, maybe 13. Um, that's just where I sit, that's where I'm comfortable sitting. If I wanted to diet down, I could, but I'm comfortable at this weight, okay? So for you to only fluctuate 20 pounds over the course of a decade, uh, that should be your number one factor of realizing that that person's probably not on steroids, you probably just don't have the work ethic to compete, all right? Um, going into this also, what you need to understand is that over the course of 10 years, I've worked out probably five, six days a week, religious I mean religiously okay this is this is what I do I wake up I work out you know what I mean like that's what I do I, I work out all the time it, it, it's a stress relief for me I don't just do it to get bigger it's a stress relief thing but I also have have researched for 10 years and tried so many different lifting styles from heavy low reps high reps um, you know strength training sport training power lifting training, CrossFit training, I've literally tried every single different aspect of training that there is to figure out what works best for my body and what I get the best results with. Okay, so after 10 years, I've pretty much figured out exactly what I need to do to keep my body growing and to keep my muscles where I want them, right? Uh, the other thing that you have to understand is when you decide to be a bodybuilder as opposed to somebody who just works out and lifts weights, is the amount of weight doesn't matter. Um, it's about gaining size in the appropriate places, it's about um, symmetry of the muscle, it's about definition of the muscle, and it's about density of the muscle. It's about all those things, vascularity, it's, it's about everything kind of encompassed. So when you go work out, okay, if you're a beginning person who's working out, um, or someone who's been off of the gym for a long time, you know, you might go in and say, okay, today I'm going to do upper body, or today I'm going to do cardio, or even if you've been doing it for a while and you say, well, today I'm going to do back, or today I'm going to do arms, or today I'm going to do shoulders, that's awesome. Um, but you're nowhere near the level of research that I've been at, okay? So the, the workout that I go in and do, I have a purpose, a micro purpose for that workout, okay? Every single time I go to work out, I say, well, what needs work on this body part? Because I, I want to go do, let's say I'm going to go do... Uh, tricep or triceps and biceps that day, right? Just stick with arms because everybody knows how to work out arms for the most part, or at least they try. Um, and I might say, okay, well, I need more work on my, you know, my brachialis uh, muscle. If you don't know what that is, again, pause, Google. Not going to explain it. Um, or I might need more work on the outer head of my tricep because I want that line to pop a little bit more. Uh, I want there to be a little bit bigger of a, of a bulge there so that way, you know, when I compete again, and I lean down, I have that nice definition, that nice line between the bicep and the tricep, and that nice, long, kind of striated head on the outside, because that's, that was one of the weaknesses I had when I did my show, right? So when I go in to do things, I pick certain exercises to work certain parts of a muscle, okay? Same thing when like you do back or legs, you know, like you might need thickness, you might want um, width in your back. There's a lot of different ways that you can do that. You might want to work your lower lats. You might want to work your lower back a little bit more because that's out of proportion. Um, there's different things that you go in and do whenever you work out. And if you've never done it before, you know, don't, don't feel bad. Like if you're just starting out, don't feel bad. But understand that um, when you go in and you see some of these guys who've been working out for a long, 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 long time, for years and years and years and who watch what they eat and who are dedicated to researching workouts, researching different body types, researching different diets, researching different supplements. Okay, there's time that goes in that you will never put in if you don't want it, right? And don't assume that you know more than someone else 
or that they're on steroids just because they're bigger than you or they're way bigger than you. Um, a lot of it can just be, you know what I mean? Like they want it more than you do. It, it's a hobby that they want. It's a different lifestyle that they want to live. That doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong or right, but you shouldn't accuse them of, you know, cheating or taking steroids or anything else if you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And that's the biggest problem with people is they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, and that's the biggest thing is, you know, I, and I've made mistakes coming up through the ways, right? Like I, I've been in times where I've, you know, I blew my shoulder out when I was doing my show pretty much because I was still going so heavy. You know, I was, I was military pressing 275 when I was like five weeks out from my show. There was no reason for me to ever, I, I, I still don't go up near that weight anymore. I haven't military pressed because of my shoulder injury um, hard in probably ever since then, okay? Like, but I know how to make my shoulders grow using less weight, using control, and using mind-muscle connection and all that stuff that I've learned over a decade of working out, okay? Literally a decade of working out, I've learned these things. So I know exactly what it takes for my body to do these things. I've had a hernia surgery from when I was deadlifting for no freaking reason back in high school because my football coach said it was a good idea and he didn't know shit, okay? Like, that you just got to understand that you're going to, you're, when you're going through and learning things growing up, like don't take them as set in stone because a lot of guys that, you know, like a lot of sports coaches in high school, look at the dude, you know what, if you, like I look back at my, uh, sports coaches from high school, I'm 10 times the size of any, every single one of them. You know what I mean? They've all, they all look the same. They've all got, you know, the, the bench press up to like 315 and then they got the beer gut hanging out underneath it. Okay. But that's not the body type that I'm going for. They obviously don't know as much as I do about working out and about how to try to keep your physique in the proportions that you want it. Okay. But it's something that I've learned over the course of years and years and years, but you learn from every single person that you come in contact with. So they might have taught me something wrong back then, but there was a lot of things that they taught me that were right. So you have to choose what works for you and what doesn't and be okay with that, okay? Um, and that's just one of the biggest things, guys, is it really uh, kind of annoys me when people are like, oh, well, you must take steroids or you must do this or do that or you, you know what I mean? You're not natural. Yes, I am, okay? According to the, the, the principles that I assume are correct, according to the principles that I actually hold as valuable, which aren't your opinion, it's an actual... F natural bodybuilding federation websites rules okay until you have your own keep your mouth shut because you don't know anything um and that's the biggest thing that upsets me and you'll find that in any single thing guys but especially when it comes to working out um i wanted to just kind of air this out um because it's been bugging me for a little bit and then today was kind of the final straw and i gave you guys the nice version of what i told him uh -huh. but you know there, there's a lot of things like that that you have to take into consideration when you're working out um, and understanding that it, it's a lot more than just spending time in the gym. It's also about knowing what time you're spending in the gym, what kind of quality time are you spending, what are you trying to accomplish, are you spending the time outside of the gym supplementing your workout for the next day and the previous workout, are you eating the right foods at the right times, are you eating, you know what I mean, how much protein are you taking in, how much sugar, how much fat, how much carbohydrates, how much sodium, all this stuff goes into account. I guarantee you 95% of people who work out, have they don't care, right? They just want to say that they work out so they don't feel bad about themselves, which is fine. But then, you know what I mean? Like, don't run your mouth about stuff that you don't know anything about because you don't, okay? And, and you never will if that's your attitude of, oh, well, the only reason he's bigger than me is because he must have cheated because, you know, I work out. Well, you, you don't, you've never even touched the dedication level that anybody who's a natural bodybuilder and who's one shows, Okay, like I've got a lot of people on my Facebook who are natural bodybuilders and who are co constantly compete and have one show after show after show. And yeah, these guys are big dudes, but they're natural, but they've also been doing it for a decade. They've been doing it for 5, 10, 15, 20 years of research, of time invested, okay? Um, it's, it's the same principle with, you know, let's say you're really good with working on cars, right? I'm, I can have a conversation with you about, you know, when I used to sell cars, I learned a little bit about cars, right? But if it came down to why a car isn't working correctly, I might be able to give you a rough idea, but you're probably, if you've been doing it for a decade, you probably not only think that my opinion's invalid, or it might be close to the right track, but nowhere near the correct answer, but that's because you've studied it, you've lived it, you've breathed it, you've done it for a decade, okay? So you know way more about that than anyone else, right? Or that, than most people who haven't done it as long as you, to, like me, for example. So I would defer my opinion, you know, I might give you my opinion, but I'm not going to be condescending, 
right? And I'm not going to be like, oh, well, you're just some stupid grease monkey who does nothing but work on cars all day. What is this, Fast and the Furious? No. I'm not going to be mean to you about it. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to diss you about it. I'm going to respect your opinion, and I'm going to be like, okay, well, that kind of makes sense now. You know, I didn't think about that before. Oh, that's a really good idea. Man, you do know a lot about this. That would explain why you actually do this for a living, or you, you know what I mean? Or it's, it's a hobby of yours that you're really good at, and that's why people come to you to have stuff done. Yeah, there's, and it's like that for any single field, guys, any single profession. If you're a Wall Street trader, a car salesman, a bartender, a car mechanic, it doesn't matter what you are, a bodybuilder. Okay, if, you've, if it's a hobby of yours, if it's something you love and you've spent a decade researching it, you know, take some pride in that, and, but understand that when people come up to you, you know, if they say dumb stuff, take it with a grain of salt, but educate them at the same time. And that's all I want to do is before I start all these workout videos is, you know, kind of get this stuff off my chest because I get, I get it all the time um, and it kind of cracks me up after a while, but I wanted to make this rant video just because it really kind of annoys me when people just run their mouth. They don't know anything about what they're talking about. Um, so yeah, guys, but look for that ARMS video coming out later this week. And uh, as always, see you in the next one.